Hey everybody, I hope you guys are safe and healthy. Please continue to practice social distancing. And if you must go out, try to wear a mask if you can, because it really does help. I know it's a really scary time right now for, for the world, but I think if we all keep good hygiene and just kind of follow the rules and just be smart, we can get through this with hopefully minimal damage. So anyway, today's video, it's on the Huawei P40 Pro. I am particularly excited because the P series is arguably one of my favorite, probably my favorite series of the last few years. The reason for that is because the P20 Pro and the P30 Pro, those phones set a new standard, set a new bar for smartphone photography. The P20 Pro, you remember, that was the first phone with a triple camera system. The first phone to be able to do like five times almost lost a zoom and that was the first phone to offer night mode photography so yeah before google before apple started doing it huawei did it first and the p30 pro took it up another level with that ryyb sensor that takes in a lot more light than a traditional rgb sensor so the p40 has a pretty high bar to live up to because the p20 and p30 basically set a new bar in digital photography and i've been using the p40 pro for about a day and a half now so by no means this is not a review but after a day and a half, I can say that I think the P40 Pro mostly lives up to that high bar. It probably won't blow you away as much as the P30 Pro did because that phone was just so much ahead of the competition. But the P40 Pro still does something really clever with the camera hardware that I think other phones in a year will follow suit. Okay, so before we begin, I have to mention that I have here on me the P40 Pro, but this year, this is not the top dog in the P40 series. There's actually a P40 Pro Plus that will be coming in May and that phone will have a slightly better camera too. So that is Huawei's absolute top dog phone. But that's two months away right now. So as of right now, the P40 Pro is Huawei's best of the best. So let's look at design first. At first glance, the P40 Pro perhaps looks quite similar to many other smartphones you've already seen. There's a almost bezel-less display, obviously. There's a hole punch that houses a selfie camera, which again, we've seen in many other phones. And around the back, you have a rectangular camera module and a glass back that attracts a lot of fingerprints. So even though it's a nicely constructed phone, everything feels familiar, right? Like we've seen it before. Well, at first glance, if you actually look a little bit deeper, you'll see that Huawei has given subtle refinements to the P40 Pro that are not found in other phones yet. So first of all, the 6.6 inch OLED panel has a resolution not quite Quad HD, but a little bit north of 1080p. Not only does it curve on both the right and left sides, it actually curves at the top and bottom too. So Huawei calls this the overflow display because it, it thinks that the screen looks like when you're pouring water into a cup and the cup is just about to spill out. So I will say that when you look at the screen straight on, you can still see the top and bottom bezel. So it doesn't quite curve off the side, top and bottom as much as I would like. But when you tilt the phone slightly to the sides and kind of look at it from a lower angle, but it does look like the screen is spilling off all four sides. Like that's that overflow effect that Huawei is going for. On top of just looking cool, it actually feels very nice in the hand. Like this phone doesn't have any sharp edges. You can run your hand through all sides and everything is smooth and curvy. Now, likewise for the hole punch display, you might be thinking, We've seen hole punch displays on even budget phones nowadays. But the hole punch here is a little bit better because not only does it house a 32 megapixel selfie camera, it houses an infrared camera for real 3D face unlock. So that means you can unlock the phone by scanning your face and it should be a little bit more secure than the face unlock in Samsung or OnePlus phones because those use just a selfie camera. So it's like a 2D face unlock. So the display here refreshes at 90 hertz. So yeah, technically it doesn't move as fast as the 120 hertz of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra's panel or even the Oppo Find X2 Pro. But to be honest, 90 hertz to me is good enough. Like I can see the difference between 60 hertz and 90 hertz but I can't quite see the difference between 90 and 120. This to me is still really fluid and really smooth. I think 90 hertz is enough and I'd rather take 90 hertz so I can get better battery life. So inside the phone, it's a Kirin 990 and a 4,200 milliamp hour battery. Now, Huawei has always been the king of battery life and the 4,200 cell here is good enough to last me all day. I've been out and about all day using the phone heavily and I still have 42% right now at 10 30 p.m. That is really damn impressive battery life considering this is a 90 hertz panel. Now I do have a couple of complaints about the hardware. The first one I already mentioned, this phone's back is a fingerprint magnet. The second nitpick is that this phone still doesn't have a stereo speaker. You only have a mono speaker grill at the bottom. Just about every other flagship phone 
on the planet now has stereo speakers so this is one area that Huawei surprisingly lags behind the competition but don't worry just about everything else this is top-notch hardware all right now let's move on to the main event the camera so the P40 Pro has a newly constructed main camera system it's a 50 megapixel RYYB sensor with an image sensor size of 1 over 1.28 inches that's the largest image sensor in any modern smartphone right now so as some of you guys may know in digital photography light is the most important factor in whether or not the camera is good the photos are good so the fact that the p4 pro has the largest image sensor it means it pulls in more light than every other phone out there even larger than the galaxy s20 ultra the 50 megapixel camera is also a ryyb sensor so just like the p30 pro it has stunning low light performance now when you're at low light like right now but still with some light source you're not going to see that big a difference between this phone and another phone but when you're in a pitch black setting like right here you see in my bedroom with no lights on you see that the p40 pro can capture something that's just way less noisy and way brighter than what the iphone 11 pro or the google pixel 4 can do and likewise in this dark alley look at how dark this alley is but yet with the p40 pro i can capture something that's pretty well lit I mean look at the side-by-side -side comparison between the real-life alley and the picture and this is not night mode this is just automatic mode with the main camera that's how powerful the 50 megapixel camera is in terms of pulling in light now during the day the camera obviously can take really amazing photos with lush colors and the auto focusing here is really good too compared to the Galaxy S20 Ultra especially but at night is where this camera shine now check out how sharp and detailed everything is and the dynamic range and the balance like all the lights are properly balanced just a really clean image now there's still a little bit of that over processing that huawei phones are known for and the color temperature tend to be on the cool side so not everyone loves that look i think it looks good when you're shooting buildings but when you're taking pictures of babies or like cats i think the iphone camera will still grab something that's a little bit warmer a little bit true to real life now the second big improvement of the camera is down here that periscope zoom lens so this is a 12 megapixel periscope zoom lens but the difference between the lens this year and on the p30 pro is that huawei is also using an ryyb sensor with this zoom lens so that means even when you zoom at night now you'll be able to pull in more light than before um, because you know with the oppo find x2 pro or the samsung galaxy s20 ultra the zoom lens works great during the day but as soon as the lighting gets a little bit dim it suffers a lot the p40 pro excels at low light zoom shots and on top of that you can use night mode when you're taking zoom shots so you can get something just a lot brighter than any other phone can do right now in fact what am i doing even talking let me show you so let's do a 10 times zoom right here So you see look at how sharp and clean this is and it's not noisy at all because of the ryyb sense so we'll do a 30x zoom with night mode on so this is 30 times zoom at night usually the s20 ultra and the oppo find x2 pro would not be able to grab this but instead okay it's a little bit blurry but this is pretty well lit right if you can read chinese you can actually read the text right here now moving on up to the top it's a wide angle camera this is a 40 megapixel wide angle camera so it's the same lens as seen in the huawei mate 30 pro so you notice that the wide angle camera does not have as wide a field of vision as many other phones out on the market so this is about one next one now if you go wide this is the wide angle camera so it's not the widest field of vision but because this camera is 40 megapixels so there's more pixels in the shot the wide angle image you get is really sharp and really detailed just look at this sample right here both of these are wide angle images taken at night and the p40 pro's wide angle image is so much sharper and more detailed than the iphone 11 pro's wide angle image now finally the fourth camera here is a tof sensor that helps you with portrait shots now i know usually i don't really care about a depth sensor in a camera because i think they're kind of pointless but i gotta say the p40 pro's portrait shots do look pretty good check out some of these samples here edge detection is on point the bokeh is pretty natural and it's pretty creamy finally video performance i'm happy to report that the huawei p40 pro has really good stabilization at 1080p and all the way up to 4k 30. now i think the iphone 11 pro still capture a, a slightly superior video in terms of balance and stability but the p40 pro's video is pretty good 
So overall, the P40 Pro's camera system looks very promising, but I've only had a day and a half of this, so I'm going to do more testing. Okay, now as far as software, this phone runs on an open source version of Android 10 with Huawei's EM UI 10.1 on top. As you already know, this phone does not support Google mobile services, so it does not have Google Play out of the box and you can't install it. But I already made a video on this a week ago that you can actually use a Huawei phone and get almost all the same experience you would with a normal Android phone, even without Google mobile services. Now, there are some caveats. You won't be able to watch YouTube through the app and you won't be able to use any of Google's cloud services like Google Docs and Google Drive, and you can't use Google Pay. But outside of that, surprisingly, everything else works. Instagram works, Facebook works, Twitter works, even Google Map and Google Chrome works just fine, and even Gmail. So you can't run Gmail the app per se, but Huawei's email app actually supports Gmail. So I, I'm getting my Gmail account right here in Huawei's email app. Or if you don't want to use Huawei's email app, you can use another third-party app and Gmail will still work in there. Now EMUI 10.1, I kind of like it. I still think Oppo's Color OS is better because it's more customizable. For the most part, this is clean. Uh, some of my complaints are that you still can't bring down notification shade unless you swipe all the way from the top. So if I'm using for one hand, I can't reach the top. When you swipe from the middle, you get this uh, iPhone-like search right here, which I don't like. And there is still no app tray, so all your apps have to sit on the home screen, which I also don't like. But for the most part, this is not a bad Android skin. It's definitely better than Vivo's Fun Touch. But you know, I wish Huawei, please give us an app tray eventually. Okay, so I don't know the exact pricing of the P40 Pro, but we know that Huawei phones are sold at basically the Apple Samsung level. So we know for sure the P40 Pro, it's gonna be over $1,000. I'm guessing maybe 1,100 US dollars, like 1,000, like 99 euro, something like that. When I know the pricing, I'll have it in the description below. So that's about it for this first look of the Huawei P40 Pro. Now I'm gonna test the phone a lot more. I'm gonna do a camera comparison against all these other phones and I'm gonna do a full review. So if you're interested in more content on the P40 Pro, please subscribe to my channel and please follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. I'm gonna test this phone heavily for the next week. So once again, this is the Huawei P40 Pro. Thanks for watching. Please stay healthy.